Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Made Every Day. I'm gonna help you create cool things using everyday items. And today we're talking about pillows. I'm gonna show you two versions, a standard throw pillow and one with a little surprise in the back, a slip cover. So let's do it. A pillow is probably one of the easiest projects to sew. And it's also one of the easiest ways to redecorate a space in your house. They come in all shapes and sizes and in all fabrics. Some of these were made using upholstery fabric that can be found at most fabric shops. Or you could repurpose an old sweater or a blanket, turn it into a pillow. This pillow was actually made with a painter's drop cloth where I painted a large stripe down the side. So get creative with whatever is around you. We're gonna start by making a basic throw pillow. Here's what you need, some fabric and an insert pillow. These insert pillows can be purchased at any fabric store and they come in all different sizes. If you're not sure about the size of your pillow, just measure it right across the top. Let's see here. And yep, exactly as the package told me, 16 by 16 inches. So I'm gonna cut my squares the exact same size, 16 by 16 inches. And you might be thinking, don't you want a little bit of extra room there for seam allowances? But I found actually that it's nice to have it the exact same size because it makes it a little bit more snug around the pillow and it looks really good. So let's cut two squares. I'm gonna use a ruler here to measure 16 by 16 inches. I just start cutting, then I move my ruler down a little bit, and then I cut a little bit more. That is my uh, go-to method of cutting a straight line. There you go, you have a front and a back to your pillow. Let's sew them together. And this is real simple. We're just gonna sandwich the two fabrics together with the right sides together, and we're just gonna sew right around the top, leaving an opening to insert the pillow at the very end. So let's pin around. And you wanna make sure, since we're working with a striped fabric here, that the stripes are lined up. Now, if you had kind of a fancy fabric that maybe cost a lot of money or you only had a small amount of it, you could just use that on one side of the pillow and then just use a simple plain fabric on the back. And what you wanna do is make sure you leave your opening right here, about one inch or two inches on each side. Now, it's kind of a large opening, but you'll find as you start to insert your pillow that it's a little difficult if you leave a smaller opening. Now that we have our pins on, let's sew. You want to start sewing from one end of the opening and go all the way around to the other end. And what I like to do is that I remember to stop sewing because I just put another pin there. Just a little reminder so I don't sew that opening closed. Use about a half inch seam allowance and just start sewing. When you get to one corner, lift and pivot and sew down the other side. And now we're back to the end here. There we go. Now before we turn the pillow right side out, we want to trim the corners a little bit. This will make it so it's less bulky, so those corners will be nice and sharp. So just cut it kind of on a diagonal, trimming all four corners, then flip the whole thing right side out. And you really want to make sure that you poke all of the corners out. What I like to use is one of these little wooden dowels. I always have plenty on hand for craft projects. And just kind of push the corners out. Okay, there you go. Starting to look like a pillow, right? Ta-da! Now the last thing I want to do before we insert the pillow is that I just want to iron this little opening under so this makes it really easy when we sew it closed at the very end. Okay, we are ready to put our pillow in. Grab your insert pillow and we're just going to stick it right inside. Now we made our opening large enough that this isn't too difficult, but if you made your opening too small, it might take a little bit more strength. Okay, now you can see we have our opening right here. We're going to have to pin that closed and our ironing made that process a lot easier. Try to make sure you're not pinning the pillow inside of it as you're going. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew this opening close to our machine, but if your pillow is a little too snug and you can't really get it under your machine, you can definitely hand sew it. Now sewing is definitely gonna take the strength of both arms, because when you get to the puffy part of your pillow, it's gonna wanna push you off your machine. So just be patient and hold on tight. You wanna sew as close to the edge without going off of the pillow. Almost to the end. There you go. You've got a really cute pillow. Now go throw it on your bed and see how great it looks. Now that I showed you how to make a basic throw pillow, we're gonna make a pillow sham, which is actually the method I prefer because it gives you so many options. You can take it on and off, you can change it out when you're sick of it, you can throw it in the washing machine, and it's just as easy to make. We're gonna use the same size insert pillow, 16 by 16 inches. And we're gonna cut the front piece of the pillow the exact same way, 16 by 16 inches. For the back though, we're gonna cut two pieces of fabric that are gonna overlay each other slightly. So let's do a little math. Take 16, divide it by two, which is eight, and then add two inches to that. So 10 inches. 
Cut two pieces of fabric for the back that are 10 by 16 inches. We've got all of our pieces cut. The front is 16 by 16 inches. We can just set that one aside. And the back pieces are 10 by 16 inches, like this, so they're gonna overlap. But before we do that, let's iron the edges of it under so that this thing does not unravel over time. Just fold it over about a half of an inch, iron it right down. If you happen to have a serger, you could serge that edge so it looks nice and clean and then iron it over, but a lot of people don't have sergers, no big deal. Let's iron our other piece too. And then we're gonna sew right down this edge here. Just go right down. Use a color of thread that coordinates with your fabric since you will actually see this on the back side of the pillow. Let's do the same with the other piece. Now that we have them both sewn, we can pin the whole pillow together and sew it as one pillow sham. Start by laying the front piece of your pillow down first with the right side of the fabric facing up. And then we're just gonna lay these back panels right over the top with right sides of the fabric facing each other. Make sure that these back panels are flush with the edge of the fabric. Then all you gotta do is pin it all together and sew all the way around. We do not need to leave an opening this time, which is easy because we've created an opening with this fabric overlay in the back. And there you go. All we need to do is just trim the little corners, turn it right side out, and put our pillow inside. And there you go, another really cool pillow with a little secret opening on the back. For more patterns and ideas, go to my website, dannyminute.com, and click the subscribe button to stay updated with all of our latest videos. I will see you next time.